Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I am going to make some potato salad for um, tonight's dinner and I figure I show you how I make my potato salad. I already have all my potatoes peeled. Um, so I'm just going to dice them to the size I need them. Um, if you want the full recipe and how I make my potato salad, you can go to my blog, which I do have a link below. <clears throat> so I'm just going to roughly slice them where they look like so and I do a kind of rough chop I don't want the pieces to be too small or too big so it's a good bite size because um, once it starts cooking it's going to break down a little bit too as well so I like to have just a little bit of a chunk let me see maybe some of these can get cut a little smaller so, maybe a good bite size piece like so. There you go. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a cold, so please forgive me. I've not been feeling well. But I'm going to have like five pounds of potatoes here that I am going to um, chop and get ready for um, to make the potato salad. So I have to boil I boil them first. So once I get all these potatoes chopped, then um, I will put them in a pot to boil, and that should be in a few minutes. This cook I'm probably gonna take me ten minutes to do this. So, uh, so see my good bite size pieces. That one I'm not gonna keep, but good bite size pieces. Cause you gotta remember this is gonna break down in the water because potatoes do that. So I'm just gonna keep chopping away here. It's like my potatoes peeled. Okay, guys, I got finally got all the potatoes cut and I put them in a pot of water. Actually, I've added salt to the water as well, so that would give a little bit of flavor. So now I'm just gonna let them um, cook on the stove on like a medium high heat until the potatoes are almost tender. I don't want them too tender because they'll still cook after I take them out the water. And I don't want a mushy potato salad. I want a firm potato salad. So once this is done cooking, I will show you the next step. I drain them and all that and then I put it into a big enough container that's gonna hold it and this is actually gonna be enough for two maybe three days two days and probably some lunches I'll say it like that two days and lunches with tomorrow this is gonna be a side dish for something else so I'm gonna add in all my condiments right now which is this onion and let's see I'm not gonna add all of it real quick right away see what that looks like when I stir it. I'm gonna add in some pickle relish. This is the way I make it. If you want the full recipe, again, that is on my website, and that's linked below. So I'm gonna add in uh, three teaspoons probably, because this is a lot. I'm gonna add in some mustard. Make sure you shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it up. It's probably about a teaspoon, actually. So, like I said, I don't measure. So, I've been doing this for so long, I, I just don't measure anymore. And I'm going to add in some mayonnaise. If you use whatever brand you like, this is the brand I like. I choose to use. And I'm going to add in several heaping tablespoons. Do one more. So I want to make sure there's enough in here so when I do stir it up, um, I'm not going to have a problem. Okay. Give me a big enough spoon so I can stir it. And I'm just going to gently stir this. And you can use whatever potatoes you like. It's up to you, your preference. You can see, see it's still a little, little bit warm, but I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and it will cool down and this will be ready for dinner tonight. It's looking really good. It's smelling really good. 
Oh, I did forget some things. Let me put in the salt and pepper. Okay, now on this, I do put salt and pepper, so it's to your liking, your salt and pepper, and to your taste, so whew, almost, almost lost the potato. So I'm going to continue mixing this and um, get this well combined and come back in a second. Okay, I'm done with mixing it fully and I actually end up having to add a little bit more pickle relish, salt, pepper, and a little bit more mayonnaise, about to eat a spoon more. Uh, it is fully combined now, so I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it cool for about two hours and then we can actually eat it. Here's the end result of the potato salad. It finally is chilled, chilled enough where we can eat it. Um, we are starving over here, so we're going to go have dinner and put this as a side for our dinner tonight. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, share the video with your friends and family. Um, if, you're new, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, until next time, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for, sh for coming by and watching my video. Bye.